everyone and welcome to my channel okay so I know I'm looking a bit crazy right now but it's okay because I'm going to do my hair at the end of this video okay <laughs> okay so let's just get started I'm so excited to show y'all this palette I just got in from Pinky Rose it's like all neutral warm tone I'm falling in love with this burnt orange color I'm really loving this palette All right, so first we're going to start my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer, and I'm just going to apply this all over. And I can do that with my stick because this is my stick. This is not what I use on other people. So I'm just going to apply this all over and blend it in really nice. Okay, so let me just go ahead and pull this hair on back and out of the way. And I'm going to be using tape today on my eyes just to give it that nice, clean, crisp line on the end. A really clean look. And I'm just going to apply this on my left and my right eye. Okay, so now that I have this on, I'm going to use my Line Clum Blending Brush. And I'm just going to work it into my crease, into my transition area. So right in between my transition area, I'm just going to tap it lightly. Make sure to brush, uh, tap off the excess powder and just apply it gently in between your crease and your transition area. And blend your life away. <laughs> color and I'm going to apply it right here on my lid in between my little top of my lid and my corner crease right here I'm not going to go any further above it I love these colors in this palette I am definitely going to have to do another tutorial with this palette so if y'all see this tutorial about three or four times in my other tutorials, I'm sorry, but I have to do some more looks with this palette. <laughs> like a cut crease or something. See how it's starting to create a shadow? And now I'm going to use this nice matte gray. This is really gorgeous. I'm going to put it on the top of my lid also and I'm just going to blend it into that burgundy color. And oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to be using my flat head brush. Now I'm going to go into this gorgeous um, red color. It has like a little bit of shimmer in it. I'm going to put that in my inner of my eye right after this gray color. And I'm just using a pointy smaller brush. And if you have any questions about where I get my brushes from, just comment down below and I'll give you like a link or give you the name. So after I've worked in that red, I'm going to go into this nice shimmery, metallic looking silver color and I'm going to work it into my tear duct area. And 
and this is just going to open up your eyes and make it look more brighter. For this color, uh, it looks like a warm pink to me. I'm going to use this color right on the bottom of my eyes and I'm just going to smudge down the bottom with this nice soft brush from uh, Sonia Cache. I've never really used a warm pink like this, so this was really different for me and a uh, new thing for me to try out. For my cleanup color, I'm going to use this nice uh, cream color. I'm going to use my big fluffy brush and just blend away any fine lines that I might have had from the beginning. You don't want any harsh lines, you want to really blend them out and make it look soft. And this is another blending brush. I'm just going to go in again and clean up a little bit more. brush again and I'm going to use this nice highlighting color that they have in this palette and I'm going to apply this right to my brow bone area. I'm just going to highlight right there. Give it some life. Okay, so now I'm going to remove my tape. Um, I almost forgot, but make sure when you're removing your tape, you try to pull gently from the bottom. Don't go snatching this off your face because you don't want to snap your elasticity or mess up your skin underneath your eyes. So just be really gentle when you're taking off your tape. You can see this line right here above the, uh, the orange part. I'm just going to blend away that because I want it to be really soft. I don't want any harsh lines. For my liner, I'm going to be using my Inglot, I think this is number 77 color in black, and I'm just going to use this gel liner. This uh, gel liner is amazing. It is so smooth, like you just can't, I just love it. It just goes on really nice and smooth, and it doesn't like, you know, smudging you or anything throughout the day, because I have really oily skin, and sometimes that, sometimes that can be like a problem, so this works out really well. And for my waterline, I'm going to be using this white pencil, it's a retractable pencil, and I'm just going to apply it to my waterline. It's just going to make my eyes look bi uh, bigger and more um, defined, give it a nice clean look. And it just makes it look a lot more bright. I just love this pencil. And it's the only pencil I've found so far to work. So if you know any other good pencils, just comment down below let me check them out. 
for my eyelashes I'm just gonna apply these beauty supply lashes on make sure you blow it and make sure it's tacky before you apply it on and these tweezers are from Tweezerman I'm just gonna use this to apply my lashes on always put my lashes on in the middle first and then I pull from the left to the right put your left side on your right side on. Very easy. Sometimes it can be a little tricky putting on my eyelashes because my lashes are so long. But um, when they start to poke out a little bit, I just apply my Hypnose Drama Mascara. And that just helps my lashes blend in better with the falsies because I have really long lashes. Alright, and I'm going to be using my Maybelline um, foundation. I mean, I'm sorry. This is this is <laughs> not Maybelline, this is L'Oreal Paris. I'm so used to using uh, Maybelline, but I'm trying something different. This is L'Oreal Paris 24 Hour Foundation. I've seen a lot of different uh, people talking about this foundation, so I wanted to give it a try. And this is a drugstore foundation. And this brush that I'm applying it on with is uh, Real Techniques. This is a great brush. It's soft and it doesn't like, you know, like really drag your skin. It just glides on your foundation effortless. And for under my eyes, this is um, Neutrogena Highlighter. It's a brightener for under your eyes. I'm just going to apply a thin coat of this under my eyes and I'm going to blend it out with my blending. Oh, I'm sorry. And also make sure you uh, wet this a little bit with a little bit of water before you use it. And I don't know if I said this before, but it's called a beauty blender. Alright, so I'm going to use my powder, my Aerospun powder. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or not. But I'm going to be using a little bit of this also, not a whole lot. I'm going to use a small white sponge and just apply that really lightly. I'm just going to let this bake for a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to use my Rimmel London um, bronzer and my big brush. I'm just going to warm up under my neck area to my face because the worst thing you can do, ladies, is walk out of the house. And gentlemen, walk out of the house with you no know, different color neck from your face. So I always make sure that's blended before I go out. It just warms up my face a little bit more. So I'm going to take my square brush and I'm going to apply it here on my cheeks and around the perimeter of my face. And I'm going to brush away this setting powder with my feather brush. And this is another brush you can use with your foundation too, but I just choose just to make it my powder brush. Um, now this fan brush I'm going to use for my highlighter. And this highlight is called Artist, uh, Artist Contour. Yeah, this highlight is amazing. Look how nice it is. It's not too bright, not too dim. But I'm going to blend it out when I put my powder brush on. And this blush is my one of my favorites. It's from Lancome. It's Blushing Trezor. And that just gives it a nice warm pink on your cheeks. And this lip gloss, I can't really remember what the name of it. I think it was um, Wet n Wow Mega Last. 
I got it from the drugstore um, also. And then the lip liner is from MAC. I think it's SNAP. If I got that wrong, I'll make sure to leave it down below if you're curious about it. to get into this hair I debate about if I was going to leave it down but I think I'm going to try an updo I normally put it up with like bobby pins but I have this other little thing that I like to use that I got from the drugstore so I'm going to show it to you but this is the brush and the gel that I'm going to be using for my edges and to brush it up so I can stay but I'm going to be using this little comb it has like a little middle piece of elastic in between them I have a brown one and I have a white one, but I think I'm going to use my brown one today. I'm just going to put this on from side to side, left to right, while holding my hair up in my other hand. This is great if you're a natural. Um, this is, uh, I think it's a shine edge control. It smells like mint and it feels really nice. Um, it holds down my edges. I'm just going to apply my bobby pins. These are not hair pins. These are bobby pins. I'm just going to gently apply them to my hair. And this is going to give me like that nice lift on the side. And to really make it stay, I'm going to be using my Gorilla Start. Um, this is another gel. And of course, good old Fateful Brush. <laughs> Every natural girl should have one. Now you can leave it like this and be done with it. Sometimes I wear my hair to the side like this. Of course I, you know, really straighten up a little bit better, but I'll wear it to the side like this sometimes and just be done with it. Or I will get my handy little spray bottle and mist some water on it. Uh, this right here is water and conditioner. I'll spread it all over and then tuck my hair under with, with my bobby pins. And you just pat and mold it into the shape that you would like for it to be in. I love this style because it lasts throughout the whole week. And all you have to do is put it in a sleeping cap. Especially if you work out like I do. I was trying to show you the back, but that did not really work out. If you have any questions, just comment down below. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I enjoy doing this look. If you like it, give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe on the bottom.